Right fellas, welcome back. Um, today I'm doing a little bit, a little bit something different. Um, so I am currently um, in Scotland as we speak. I've been working up here today, um, and I thought I'd take this opportunity to go and see a guy who I've been speaking to um, on sort of social media. Turns out he's actually a subscriber of the channel, um, and he has got a supercharged mini pickup. Um, it is absolutely insane. So I messaged him and I said, David, do you want to do a video for the channel on a on your pickup and it was like mate I'd love to so I'm on my way to go and see him now um, I think we're meeting him at a storage lock up um, it's currently absolutely pissing down in Scotland so we're not going to be going out in it but I'm sure we'll be able to get a good idea of what it's about um, and I'll get David to talk you through kind of engine specs um, and I think the guy who actually built the pickup as well is um, he's meeting us there so yeah stick with us and I shall catch up with you when we're in uh, in the storage unit with the, uh, with the pickup so see you in a minute Right, okie dokie boys. So I'm here now with this uh, this pickup. So David's met me. Um, so we've had a little bit of a chat about the pickup. So I'm going to let David take over and tell you everything about what he's done to it. Um, so we'll open it up. Where do you want to start? Engine bay? Start the engine bay. Yeah, start perfect. The oh, what? All the easiest thing. Yeah, perfect. Is there enough light in there? So, what have we got? I'll light it up a wee bit. Fully rebuilt, 1275, which actually came through a friend. Um, I was going to stick with the 850 that came with the car, which I've, something that I've still got, just to keep a matching numbers car, but it was a wee bit weak on power, so we went 1275, rebuilt. Didn't have the supercharger on in the, the mini one shoot, the mini mag shoot, so we decided to to do that afterwards. Um, yeah. It ran on 20 shoes, 1275 for the mini world shoot. And then afterwards, after watching a couple of videos, I think it was Cole's mini, we thought, do you know what, let's go supercharger it. And um, best thing I ever did. Yeah, huge so, power gains, huge so power this lads as well, I've just asked David what it is. So this is a bolt on kit. Um, so he's used the decompression plate as well. I know Cole, um, built his engine, but if you don't want to build your engine, I know Cole mentioned in his video, I don't know if you can see the plate, which is just there. It's about a quarter of an inch thick um, with two head gaskets. So li this kit's literally a bolt-on bolt on job. Um, so yeah, yeah, if you're thinking about it. Stuart Garth, he's been building these kits for a long, long time. Yeah. Um, Andy, who built the car for me, he'd fitted three or four kits and we went out and tested one of them and after we tested it, what a laugh it was. It was mm -hmm. brilliant fun, brilliant fun. So massive power gains. Um, doesn't... <sighs> From, from my perspective, it's not high-end power. It's not like the other red mini that I've got sitting over there, which is all cammed up. Um, I might do a video on that one. It's a nightmare to drive. It's like no power below four and a half thousand revs. This is just instant. Wow! It's brilliant. It sounds, it sounds amazing with the straight cut. Ears mm -hmm. winding away as well. Yeah. Um, so are they, straight, are they straight cut or has it got the helical drops in it as well where it, wi it winds on the way down? It winds on the way down as well. So it's just yeah. straight cut drop gears. The gearbox itself is standard. Seems to handle the power all right. Um, I think, to be honest, the gearbox will probably need a rebuild. It was probably one part that I didn't rebuild. So we'll probably do that. It can get a bit sticky in gears. Third gears will be a bit crunchy on the way down. So we'll do that probably end of the year. I think probably every year as well. I'll probably take the engine out and get the engine bay cleaned up and keep it nice and tidy. You know that, how it is. That's what, I, that's what I said last year. <laughs> and then you know what happened. But. Um, in terms of the rebuild, when we got the pickup, everything from bulkhead forward, inner wings, bulkhead itself's all been out. Um, I'll send the pictures on, you can have a look at it. So a new bulkhead, it's a later model bulkhead, which I was a wee bit disappointed in, but it was all we could get from, um, from Heritage. Yeah, so my van's got um, got the same bulkhead in it, so I know the, the hinges are meant to go, see where that kind of recess is, where that bolt is? Yeah. Yeah, on the, on the Cupress I noticed the hinges are further in, um, and on my van they're on the, on the way out. Which yeah. I don't think it makes a makes a massive massive deal. Uh, if you're going for like sort of totally original, maybe. But which which I wasn't. I was going. For yeah, this. Resto mod yeah, this is this is cool. Cafe racer type look. That, that was that was the vibe that I wanted. That's my style. Um, so missing things like the the air vent that comes goes over here, um, which in the other car was it was glued in. Um, it was it was just a mess before I got it. 
So inner wings have been replaced, bulkheads replaced, wings, front panel, doors on you, uh, the corners of the roof have been replaced, the sills, the sills were a bit of a mess, the sills were off a saloon car that were on it, but they were on the wrong side. I don't know how they made them fit, but they made them fit. Um, so that's all been fixed, uh, the car was bare metal, the quarter panels in the pickup are all, all original. Um, you can still see the odd mark in them, but again, it's a commercial, so I don't really mind so much. Um, I didn't want it totally perfect. I wanted it to look as if it that used sort of feel. Load bed has got, it's been lead loaded along with here. Um, some of the side markers, that's all been leaded in there as well, just to stop the flex. Other than that. I absolutely love these wheels. Yeah, that's yeah, the centre part, see the... Yeah, the my favourite. Ah, right, okay, that's what it is. About. Yeah, so I put a more... picture of my wheel on Instagram, and David replied saying you need them inserts, um, so I'm going get, to get some of my thing. It just finishes it off, doesn't it? It does, it does. It just, just finishes it off. But what was the colour again, mate? Porsche Sports Classic Grey is the colour. Yeah. Um, and the black, and the roof is Porsche black as mm -hmm. well. Um, just something a wee bit different. Just change it up a wee bit. I wasn't bothered about it being original, so... Um, we played about the colours, we looked at, what was one of the colours we looked at? It was a modern colour, it was an Audi colour. Um, Nardo grey. Nardo grey. Yeah, a lot of people are doing Nardo grey, and Nardo grey is ridiculously expensive as well. It, it just didn't feel right on the classic car, whereas the, the Porsche, can, as soon as we, put, we sprayed a few bonnets, and uh, we sprayed half Nardo and half this colour, and as soon as it sat outside we went, now what, that's the colour, that's the one, that's the one for us. Yeah. And so everything was, was sprayed. Same colour. So underneath has been done in raptor coating and um, with a mix of colour through it. Um, and then clear coated underneath as well. So everything's been cleared. Hole underneath. Right yeah, have you got any pictures of underneath it, David? I have. I have yeah, I'm gonna say I'll uh, I'll overlay some pictures of underneath on it. I'm not gonna start groveling on the floor trying to get um, underneath. Um, so everything up here is all all raptor coated up to probably just below just where the floor meets the bulkhead is where yep. we stopped um, mm -hmm. so that we didn't bring it into the engine bay. Yeah. It's had it's had loads of coats of paint on it, loads of coats. Andy was 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 OCD about the paint, uh, just making sure it was it was going to be protected. Yeah, you can't put you can't put too much paint in them. Yeah, uh, everywhere's fun, everywhere's fun. Um, inside, understated, but got a purpose. So I wanted the original seats, that those seats actually came with the pickup. Um, the steering the steering wheel was a bit of a talking point. Andy wanted a wood motorita type wheel in it. I didn't mm. I quite like the old bus wheel, so we restored it and we thought about it, but that's the one I wanted, so that's what we got. Yeah, it looks cool that looks really good. Um, but just, I think my van should have one of those wheels in it. I think I've got the earlier earlier style wheel in it. Yeah. Um I think Mark I think I've got like a Mark One steering wheel for the vans. I think they were like the Mark Twos. What what year is it this? Seventy nine. Seventy nine. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a little bit late in my van, so my van's 72. Um, but yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure my van should have had one of them in it. Yeah. So, I suppose in, in terms of fixtures and fixings, everything has been powder coated. Um, the heater box was taken out, stripped, powder coated, um, done in like a satin finish. Everything matches. Steering column was powder coated, everything's powder coated. Anything that was metal that was bare, that was potentially going to rust, yeah. was coated. Um, Every kind of bracket, every conceivable bracket. A couple of things that I still probably need to do. I need to get a handbrake gator, which I'll, I'll get organised. I saw the one you had in yours. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yours yeah. looks really nice. The Optimize made that for me. Yeah. See, who did the who did the interior for you? It's Newton Commercial. The seats came. All right, okay. The seats actually, I don't know what they're what they're made of, but they're a lovely finish on them. Yeah. Um, that was they were first they were ripped out, and I thought I'm keeping them because I like them. I'm not a massive fan of the Newton Commercial. I don't want to slag them off online, but I'm not a massive fan of yeah, them. Yeah, I must admit, I, I wasn't impressed with the carpets, but I've got the Newton Commercial seats in the Cooper S, and they're absolutely, like, the finish on them is amazing. Um, so that's the moulded carpet. I don't know whether you can see it, but... Yeah, so this is probably the same set as I've got in the uh, in the van. It, it took a wee while for it to arrive, but, I mean, it's a lovely finish on it. I just don't think the fit is particularly yeah. amazing on it. But I, Andy, as I say, Andy uses the optimised stuff, and he prefers it. Yeah. Um, I mean, it is it's standard. All the, you can see all the pedal boxes all been powder coated as well. Those mats as well. Um, yeah. I've actually got a set of these for the these for the van. You guys haven't seen them yet, um, but David put me onto them. It's a classic mini in Japan. 
um, yeah, they're a really, really nice touch and I can't wait to get them when it's all finished up. Yeah. Um, the, the cluster for the rev counter and the, um, the boost gauge, yeah. there's actually there's a guy that's, that's pretty popular, a guy called Ricky um, on the, the pickup forum and he stays out in LA. Mm -hmm. um, and I think he put the, the double gauges in his car and I thought once we're going supercharged I need that boost gauge in. Yeah. Uh, so he put me on to where that really good bracket for that. Um, otherwise, headlining probably needs done at some point. It's been sprayed black um, just to keep the, the sort of the inside of the cabin. I just wanted a nice and black, nice black area dulled down so that there wasn't too much colour in it. I did want the, the metal parts to, to stand out against the contrast in black, so it's, it's worked really well. New seat belts, pretty much everything in there is new. Um, these parts in here, I don't know if you can see them over the other side. Um, yeah. There's normally a hole in the pickup, yeah. um, but then 3D printed, there's, a, there's an online spec that you can actually just send to a website and they print them off for you. Yeah. Pretty cool. Um, suspension wise, we've got Fully adjustable all round. We've got um, what are shocks is it's not it's not gas, it's are they is it still on, on cones? Or is it on uh, the springs? It's on it's on cones. Um, I left cones, that one's on coilovers over there. Ah right, okay. I don't like it. Yeah, a lot of people say they're too hard and it's quite aggressive. It's, it's really aggressive. Car bounces and skips. Whereas the shock is up on this, it's the what kind are they? I'll find out I'll find out the name of them. My mate went for gas shots and his car's just it just bangs and crashes and sits quite low. Yeah. So we went for more shots on this one. I can't remember what they are. I can't remember. Protex, Protex, that's the Protex, so yeah, I know I know uh, I know Steve, um the one who helped me with the wiring on the van, he's a massive fan of Protex. Protex are brilliant, really compliant, yeah. they just they just take their own loads up here are really, really bad as well. So um the V are the road no problem at all. Yeah. Underneath new brake lines. New battery cables, play mini exhaust, full system stainless, even the manifold, um, powder coated frames front and rear, powder coated arms, powder coated the everything, everything's powder coated just so that I can keep it as fresh as yeah. I possibly can. I mean, you've only got to look at it and it is absolutely mint. Um, in fact, everything, even the rear plates, the brackets for it. Yeah, I had those done on the on my van. Um, have you had those finished in, in, in satin on there? Yeah. Yeah, so the back of it's done in satin black. I had mine done gloss. Uh, and, and all the wee brackets underneath as well, they're all done. Yeah. yeah it's absolutely mint, absolutely mint. What um what exhaust is on there? So that's a, a, a play mini. So a guy called Matt Green was building a pickup just now as well. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He, um, he went to play many because they'd stopped producing the exhausts. Yeah. It's a longer section. You take the van. Yeah, so I've got the Maniflow system on the van because at first we're going to put a Fletcher on the van and then realise it didn't fit. So then went for Maniflow. Yeah, the Fletcher ones are just good to fit. So Matt contacted play many, I think it was Nick Paddy, and he did, I think, 10 exhausts or 20 exhausts. So I bought one of them, I just saw it. Um, but they've actually put them back in production now. So yeah. They're back on the board now. Um, other sort of tweaks. Something that We've used a lot of them. This is um, Rivnuts, stainless Rivnuts. You ever used them before? I've never used Rivnuts. I've, I've heard people rave about so, them. Phenomenal. I mean, really, really good. So rather than putting screws and stuff into your bulkhead, yeah. Anyway, we can. We've drilled it, put a Rivnut in, and it takes a bolt. So again, these are powder coated. <laughs> <laughs> the level this guy's gone to on this pickup is unreal. Um, we've got everything where we can powder coated. The, the yeah. tank we didn't powder coat. We painted, um, and the same paint as the roof. Yeah. The, these actually, these where these pop out, I've never actually opened the boot, the boot on it, but where that pops out, there's actually a rev nut through there to just stop the rattle where we can. Mm -hmm. um, you might have used them in, do you use them in the wing mirrors? Rev nuts? Yes, they use yeah. them in the wing mirrors. In the wing mirrors. Yeah. So basically it's just a, a nut that goes through, it's like a, a, a rivet. You squeeze it up, but it actually leaves a thread in it, so you can bolt straight into it. Really, really good too. Yeah, I know a lot of people use them for the arch as well, because every time you put a screw in the arch, rather than riveting them on, if you're going to whiz them on and off, because um, every time you put a screw in, it gets bigger and bigger the hold on it. Yeah, Whereas, yeah, riv, riv knots are, are immense for that. Um, new door furniture, as I say, everything as well where I could get it was DSN, which is I love the kit. The kit's amazing. I mean, it's really, really good. I've got a lot on that as well. Breathers, uh, interior door handles, anything that I could get in DSN. I, Pretty much bought a catalog on it. 
Um, it's really good stuff, really good stuff. Problem wise, since we've, maybe, we've, we've had a go, you see, I have problems with the breather. The supercharger seems to, maybe it's because I've not got enough breathers on it, seems to kick up a bit more oil. Um, so after the first few drives, I've done quite, since it's been built, I've probably done about four or five hundred miles on it just to just to get all the problems ironed out of it. Yeah. Um, I seem to be getting brake fluid coming back up the top here, which these are powder coated, so it gives me a bit of cover on it. Um, yeah, that brake yeah. fluid is savage in it for the uh, to just brutal. stripping paint off. Constantly cleaning it. A um, couple of problems, problems with oil where I took it out and this maiden voyage came back and there was oil everywhere and you had the worst nightmare. Just oil everywhere, so loads of that. Got it cleaned. Um, I think other than that, it's, I mean, the, the supercharger kit I think is more reliable than, than carbs. Yeah. Definitely does. It's split like 45s on it and that's a beast to start. Yeah. So what carbs did you have on it before? There was, was the H4s? It was H4s, yeah. Yeah, twin yeah. H4s. Um, yeah, I've got them on the, on the I've Cooper. I've got them refurbed. Yeah. Um, as, as part of this. Mm -hmm. um, they were done. They, were, they, made, they looked lovely on it. They looked really period, which, which I like. I like the period look. Oh, I just... I think there's something about the supercharger kit. Yeah, I like how you've colour coded it to yeah. the engine block as well, um, which is which is real nice. Um, Stuart Gar actually sent it up. He'll, he'll paint them in most colours, but we we decided that we would just match it up. Andy's the guy that built it from CC Restorations. He's just OCD over the details, which which works in my favour because it means everything that goes in. I mean, it's tedious the amount of stuff and time he spent on getting bolts fitted, I mean, replacing like standard bolts from Allen head bolts. He'll spend yeah. hours researching online what thread sizes are. He's, he's really got it nailed. Um, yeah, other like, than that, it's got the bulkhead plate from Classic Minis Japan as well, which is it's yeah. really good. It's mm -hmm. really good. Um, brand new loom, which was modified by Office Sparks. Took a bit of time to arrive, but when it came, it's it's a really good finish. You can see it's got the sort of red and yellow braid through it. Um, there is no particular reason for yellow and red. I just for some reason thought let's make it a bit different yeah um, yeah it looks nice and clean yeah um, but, but as i say everything everything is brand new brand new dizzy brand new alternator water pumps everything everything's been done on it um it never started off like that it started off as a quick respray which turned into an absolute nightmare and um, it's worth it it's definitely worth it yeah I definitely have it. you took it to any shows and stuff yet no yet with everything being off um ah yeah yeah I, it's, it's, I suppose it's, so. Uh, it's been tough. So it was finished around about September last year, and it sat in this this place here because the, the weather was so bad last year. And uh, as soon as the good weather, in fact, as soon as lockdown came, I brought it back out again. Yeah. Um, took over to the house, and it's, it's pretty much been in there, and I've been tinkering with it. Nothing major. I'm um, just fixing the oil and stuff like that. But my, my mate's got a, a blue clubman, which I love a little car. It's absolutely slammed, it's, it's beautiful. So we've been going out and cutting down some country roads and stuff, and it's been good. good yeah. fun. No, it's nice to get out there and drive them. Yeah. So, right, I think that's pretty much it, guys. Um, like I say, if anyone's got any other questions and stuff, am I right to leave a link to your Instagram? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll leave a link to David's Instagram as well, so he's, he puts pictures and stuff of this on here. Um, but yeah. I'll send you over the links for the, the pictures. I yeah. Two thousand odd pictures for the build. Perfect. Okay, okay, right. Like I say, I'll overlay some of them pictures. Um, and I shall see you guys in the next one. So from me and David, we'll, uh, we'll catch Cheers. you next time. Cheers, lads.